So here's a practice SAT question. They give us this graph right here. represents the total cost of renting a boat by the hour. So we've got the cost represented on the y-axis. We've got the hours represented on the x-axis. It says, which of the following represents the relationship between H and C? So if you look at these options, these options are all equations. Uh, the equations, the first three at least, are in slope-intercept form with a little bit of a tweak what we have is we have C taking on the role of Y and we have H taking on the role of X. So what I did right here is I rewrote slope intercept form with C in place of the Y and H in place of the X. So if I'm trying to figure out which of these equations represents this linear graph, I'm going to have to figure out what the slope is. I'm going to put that slope right here. I'm going to have to figure out what the Y intercept or the C intercept is. And I'm going to have to put that value here. Uh, the c-intercept you can get just by looking at the graph. The c-intercept of the graph, if you look at the scaling, we're, we're jumping by ones. Uh, so that is the value of five. So the c-intercept, the y-intercept is going to go in place of the plus b. So we are looking at either option b or option c. And then the final answer here is going to come from uh, finding the slope the right way. So to find the slope of this line, there is an easy mistake to make. I will show you how you can get the wrong answer, which is option B. If you just look at the grid lines, if you look at this as a rise of one, two, three, and then a run of one, two, three, four to get to this next point that they've plotted on the graph, what you've done is you haven't done a rise over a run using the proper scale. Because look at the scale on the x-axis. The, the tricky thing about this problem is that this is one unit along the x-axis, right? The x-axis is scaled by quarter units, right? A quarter of an hour, half an hour, three quarters of an hour, a full hour. So when I do my rise of $3, my run is actually only one unit to get over to this next point that's right there. So easy to get this answer mistakenly if you just look at the grid lines and, and answer. Uh, but we were careful enough to recognize that our slope is 3 over 1, which is option C.